Salutations, my friends. I'm Mr. Moklover, of course, as you know. And welcome back to Old World Blues, in which we're playing is that beautiful Western Brotherhood of Steel. So last time, we got a little bit expansive. We took out a few tanker vagrants, maybe some of the she, maybe some Tahama creatures, maybe making some light cruisers here and there. And uh, we took out the, what was it, the Brass Empire, the New Reno. We took out the guys down with the Barons Republic. We did a lot of things last time, but right now, we are slowly recovering from our adventures of taking everyone out. And we're going to get hit, I would say, at least a little bit, because even though we're mobilizing more, which is great, it's going to be a little costly trying to keep resistance down a little bit. So, let's get into a couple comments. So, from yesterday, I asked you guys quite a few questions about the SSR, the Shady Sands Republic, uh, Gatling lasers, or really miniguns versus Tesla cannons, uh, ergonomic lasers versus more PA power armor strength, all sorts of stuff. So, let's get to the first one. So... I asked you guys about whether I should take on miniguns or Tesla cannons. And there was a, a lot of support for both sides. But the side that eventually won out by the time I'm making this recording late in the day, the one that won was miniguns. Just by like a one vote. So we're going to go with LMGs next. Cool. I really do like reading your comments most of the time. Because most of them are pretty nice. So I like reading your comments usually. Uh, and I like your input. I really do like your input. Ooh, Battlecruiser. We're a Battlecruiser, why not? So, I do appreciate it, and we are going to recall the chapter in which they shall join the Western Brotherhood of Steel. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this comment. So I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do ergonomic designs for laser weaponry, or just, just designs in general for better production costs, overcharge ammo, weapon surpluses, or energy weapon schematics, or exoskeleton hardening, we get more hardness and defense, power armor conservation, composite recycling, as well as power armor secrets, and overall, there was quite a bit more support for exoskeleton hardening. Now, there's support for both sides, but exoskeleton hardening just overall had just a lot more support. But the exoskeleton of power armor is a core necessity, applying the framework to install power armor com compositions on top of it. Much of the framework is produced from alloy or otherwise composite materials. We get even more hardness or defense, and someone also left a comment yesterday saying that if we really wanted to stack some bonuses, we could hack the hub link. And release a Hubologist so that hopefully we get Hubologist cooperation for even plus 15% more hardness, which makes it our guys really, really hard. Which, taken out of context, could be a lot of fun, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And what's, and I asked you, ask, ask you guys when I play as a Shady Central Republic, and I like this flag, this flag looks really awesome. What, which path should we go first? Uh, it was recommended that you guys might want to see the general, actually, and or the pragmatist first. Just because both sides have, like, you can get cores on, like, the Mojave or the Barons Republic or something like that. The diplomat is fun and all, but democracies, they're a little, usually a little not super fun to play in Hoi 4 regardless. But they still have interesting things that they can do, so. I asked you guys a lot of questions yesterday. I must have been really loopy. That's okay. We're just going to go ahead and go to war and ruin our stockpile of resources anyways. Because, why not? They're probably not too... Ah, oh, the power armor just, sm just thrashing the enemy. We've lost three guys. Versus 170. 200. Now it's more like 30 versus 200. 300. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. As long as we have a good amount of manpower, that's all I really care about. Because next we're going to end up acquiring San Rafael once we get 300 political power. Which is going to take forever, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get some stratified attack patterns. That'd be very, very bueno. And throw on a couple more of this. How many? We got three there. That's not bad. We already have three there as well. Let's go through here then. Because you probably have, I thought so, three. And there goes the Antelope Tribes, thank you very much. I think we also talked about the scope of the ca this campaign last time. Right now, if we wanted to go to war with the Troll War, we probably wouldn't do very well because they're looking kind of thick. If they end up going to war with the Brotherhood, though, that might be a good justification to go to war with them. Because they have up to 58 divisions, we have, well, 31. So, and I think for now, it's probably best for us to consolidate our holdings, not, not expand too far, and kind of just hang out, just because, well... We got less than 200 manpower. That's not very much. So, and I'd love to go to like outsider initiates, but we can't afford to lose 2% more population. <coughs> Excuse me. But exoskeleton hardening will be very good for our power armor because I love power armor too much. Awesome. So let's go ahead and do next. Oh, I know. Fresh recruits so we get more population. Fresh hands and new minds are sorely needed. While we might never gain the technological advantage, we must take the manpower advantage. Their purified manpool, manpool will be insignificant against our volunteer efforts. Initiate recruits, because we can take them. 
Over here, decorated hero. Eh, stability works, but that's nice, but we already have enough. Guerrilla tactics, very good. Let's see over there now. Gonna wait. Let's go and grab some platoon training. That'd be good for more organization. Yes, please. And get some fuel injection next, which would be awesome, awesome, awesome. How is resistance? Must be look at this. Fuel injection. Better cast. Can we get this yet? No, we cannot. Actually, we, we already have attack planes. We really need to go down this pathway, but we'll get more air. Just more ground attack. I love offensive armaments. Oh, another one of these. Cool. Very good. Very good. Very nice. If that's the case, go ahead and train for now because we can. That'd be nice. Let's see. Resistance, meanwhile. Uh, it's pretty high in the Cyclops stripes. Go ahead and. Ooh, we might be able to eradicate any sort of resistance for now because it's just too high in my mind, as well as Vault City. That's just a wee bit too high. Rocket launchers would be nice. Let's go ahead and grab low caliber ammo. Let's go with high caliber ammo. I like high caliber ammo. And Desert Rangers look. Honestly, I gave the territory to them yesterday. It looks kind of bad. Not gonna lie. And hopefully, the Shady Sands Republic doesn't want to go to war with us. We do own some of their land. They'll probably manually fight us someday. But Lee Oliver. So they went down with the general. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Huh. Herald of the West. The prize is mine. Annex Council Hill. Oh, they get some plus 10% stability, huh? Split the power. More power to me. Dissolve the council. Gunner, gun runners know how. Oh, integrate the rangers. Ranger deployment. This looks like a... Oh, that looks like a lot of fun. Look at that. The rangers of Nevada. Oh, my goodness. That looks awesome. Next up, let's go ahead and do... It's 2280. Get some more reinforce rate, but we'll get, grab some complicated circuitry first for more research speed, because that would be a very bueno. Incredibly bueno. Fresh recruits. We love it. Procuring our... Da, da, da. Preparing for war. Any other countries at war with the Western Brotherhood? Hopeville Exiles. Neighbor of Hopeville. Oh, boy. Daglo Exiles. New Reno Enclave is neighbor of New Reno. Oh, we can't get that eventually. War with the New Reno Enclave. Oh, man. We already killed them off, though. Whoops. Uh, Hopeville has completed the focus. The Hardliners arrived. The Boomer Enclave. The Enclave take over. Well, we'll, we'll see what we can do about that. Recycling efforts. Uh, air bases. Meh. Let's do composite recycling, because we can produce even more. It's becoming increasingly more difficult to fabricate new power armor for the Brotherhood. Recycling old bits of composite units and removing impractical one to an extent will make it less of a strain on resources to produce. Great. Actually, oh, I just realized that Arroyo is gone, because we can get Arroyo. The Descendants of the Wanderer, Industrial Support, Send Volunteers, Brotherhood Help. I mean, we could do it eventually, but let's we'll see what happens. It doesn't really mean too much to me, though. 280, not bad. We get 1.43 a day. Not great, but, you know, it works for us. How's the rest of the wasteland doing, actually? 80s looking kind of large. The white legs looking massive. Woof! Kind of large white legs. Let's see. Manpower-wise, 5 to 6,000. 80s have how much? Oh, wait, hold on. They have 4 to 5,000. The white legs have... How... None? Good to know. Very, very good to know. In the meanwhile, or in the meantime, uh, we can't core that. We have to get basically core going up this way, which kind of sucks. Grab you. Go over there. There you go. Have a good time. Over here, 16,000 is not bad. Yeah, we'll probably come up to Santa Rosa would be nice. Well, let's core. Let's get more, a couple more factories. Don't have to put any compliance down. Manpower will continue going up. Really nice. It costs so much to do that, though. My goodness. How many battle... Cruisers, two triremes. We're making two triremes, huh? Uh, just go and put this up there, too. That'd be kind of nice as well. We could use a couple more screens. Uh, LMGs, might as well make them, right? Might as well. We'll do that. We'll get make a lot of doggos. And we'll probably make a lot of pretty much anything, really. Pretty much everything we're going to make a lot of. Especially power armor. we got to get better power armor. All right, so the troll warns are clear to warn them. That's good to see. Let's go and start justifying on them as well. Because it seems like we'll have enough manpower for a while. Oh, it takes, that's so short to go to war with them. That's so nice. Not bad, not bad. Any upgrades? No? No upgrades, huh? That's a little disappointing, but whatever. Come on, power armor, you got it. Nope, they don't. 40s, huh? Composite recycling, very, very nice. Pacific waters, power armor conservation to get even better production costs. Jesus! Ensuring a stockpile of armor is always available proves a great benefit when time comes and when any hardship the Brotherhood will face show themselves. It's good to have it in backup or in reserve. Yes. Very good. 
Let's go and grab some marine ports rate. Long range radio is always nice to have. Alright, so these guys are busy killing people up north. Capitol Hill has fallen. Kind of cool. We got some more biplanes. This might be a really bad idea to attack them now. If Capitol Hill's already fallen. Jesus, that's that was fast. That was really flipping fast. Bellingham is hanging out. Wait, hold on. Oh! Oh, the old country's fighting them. Okay. You're just trying to fight everyone. Oh, the Washington Brotherhood was fighting the old country. And then they're struggling against... Oh, okay. Good. Pretty good. Radar. Why not? We're about to get paid soon. How much infantry equipment do we have at this point? We have 60,000. I think we can sell some caps. Sell some for caps. We're not going to sell caps. We're going to sell some for caps. Because we want to still keep doing this stuff. Radioactive materially confirmed. So be it. Beal Air Force Base. Arms. Oh, yeah. Restore the CR Army Depot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Help settlements out, too. Wow, that's a lot of uh, manpower. Not lie. Not gonna lie. That's, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Other than that, I mean, we could keep building civilian workshops. It doesn't really matter. Build maybe a few more dockyards, actually. This is one of the weird times I'm actually gonna be building dockyards. Uh, put that at top. And build another one up here in San Fran. Nice. Wow. We want to build a lot, don't we? Yes, we do. And go ahead and stop training if we need to. Go ahead and do that as well. Let's see what happens. You probably don't need to do this area too, so just keep stay in the Pacific for now. See what happens. Maybe you have to shoot some people. Go shoot some people. But in, in game, in game, not not real life, not real life. <laughs> oh man, go and go to war so that they struggle quite a bit here. Hopefully they attack us. I wish I could just position my power armor to just have them move. But c'est la vie, c'est la vie, and we're crushing them pretty darn well, pretty easily with those guys. If the Mojave chapter wants to come in, uh, I will let them come in. Gladly let them come in. Megapolis 1, I mean, you can come in. I'm not going to give you anything, though. I mean, that's fine with me. I'm not giving you anything. I will help you take out, like, the Confederacy of the Deglo eventually, but... I'm not going to give you anything. It wouldn't make any sense for me to give you stuff. We can do some recon kits. That's fine with me. I don't really care. Oh, oh SSR Junta or Junta Operative captured, eh? You know, I guess it's time for me to ask you. What would be a good brotherhood? Brotherhood Intelligence Agency. That is a good question to ask. I, I, I don't know why I thought of Imperium of Man, but that, I don't think that's going to work. I don't think this will work either. Probably won't work. An o always watching eye. Police? It says police over here. Mm, I'm feeling this eagle. I'm, I'm feeling the eagle a little bit. So let me know. A good, a good Brotherhood name. Wow, you guys are kind of crazy going nuts and trying to kill the enemies, even though... They're not doing a really good job. Look at some sales, though. Start focusing on our navy just a little bit more. Uh, take the power armor. And... Oh my god, look at that division. Holy crap, we are demolishing its strength. Oh, they could die. They might have just literally... Holy crap. Oh, can we do that again? That was cool. Let's do that again. Please, let me crush them. I want to see their strength drop. No, no they drop by like 10%, 15 max, maybe. But not that, not by that much. All right, two divisions. You are 92% strength. Okay, so this strength doesn't decrease nearly as much as the other group did. I'm not. I really don't want to try using my infantry to help push against troll-worn soldiers. So it's probably not a good idea. Just saying. Oh, you're helping out, attacking right there. That's fine. Going up and out. Going up out. Cool. Go ahead. Troll-worn. How much manpower do they have? Power armor conservation. Oh, they're out. Okay, they're out. Good. And just because they're out, that doesn't mean you want to attack. When I finished my campaign as a great cons, it didn't go so well when I attacked them, so. Power Armor Secrets. Our scribes have cracked it. Much of the information have, we have gathered about Power Armor has come from the field guides and general information sprinkled throughout magazines and informational booklets. But actual schematical information, West Tech, own safely guarded secrets, this will be a game changer. Look at that manpower. Nice. I could help attack... I guess I will help attack. Yeah, can we fight some uh, screens? Screens. Those skinwalkers. Can we have some uh, special forces? I'd love to smash the living crap out of them. Complicated circuitry? Don't mind if we do. Some uh, miniature circuitry? That sounds uh, pretty decent. Not gonna lie. Sounds pretty decent. Could use more divisions, but that's okay. I'm still waiting to develop maybe a little bit more of our uh, demo teams. Just so that we... There we go, we got the office done. Uh, can, uh... Compare them... Compare the best level of demo teams versus... Just normal, regular power armor. Before we make them, like, 37 and a half combat with, because we can't get up to 40, which sucks, but whatever. 
If you really want to help out, you can help out. It's okay. Yeah, with power armor, they they can't stand up to it. Mutants, they go home. They just go bye-bye, man. Go up there. Crush them, do that. There you go. Don't even go that back. Don't even go back. There you go. Hey, they landed. I'm sorry, Megopolis one. I'm not gonna help you here. I will. You know what? Next, next war. Confederacy. Ooh, this might screw the focus group. I may even go to war with this group. Uh, can they go to war with this group? It looks like they can't. A strong nation. Uh, they need Megopolis one and securing our powers. Oh, they take that. Okay, you know what? If that's the case, if they have no focus tree or focus right now that they can do for that, preparation for a second war. Turn the economy. Unite the populace against a boneyard. War will go. You know what? Just in case, we'll go to war with them next to pay them off for doing this. Of course, in the end, I'm going to betray everyone here anyway, so it's okay. You heard nothing. I heard nothing. What did I hear? Did you say something? I did not. Good, good, good. Just keep smashing them. They have. They should have. Any, they should not have any manpower, especially as they take on more and more resistance. Marluk converts. Eh, they might get some manpower from that. Okay, they just got some manpower. That's why I've not decided to do just you know a massive front wide attack because I know it could prove to be very disastrous if we chose to do so. I should focus on more on planes too. But I'm focusing on just trying to get more manpower and coring stuff. That's probably the biggest thing in my mind right now that we need to do. Just core, core more stuff. Just run around killing just mutants in power armor. It just sounds like so much fun. Oh my goodness. Uh, do we have cryptology going? No, we don't. Uh, ADs, probably White Legs, maybe Sky Reavers. Definitely the Shady Sands, maybe even that group there. Uh, operative! Patrick Shank. Cool. Hello, Patrick Shank. Losses thus far? Well, we've lost 4,000. Well, technically, Megopolis 1 has lost 4,000. Well, I lost nobody. And we've killed off about 381 of them. Not nearly as much as our ally, but I prefer my KD to theirs. Hey, we unified the Brotherhood. What does that do? Unify the Brotherhood, huh? As any Brotherhood nation, ensure that all other existing branches of the Brotherhood are either your subjects or in your faction. Well, it looks like the Western Brotherhood has gone bye-bye. Bye-bye! How sad. Take him out, take him out, put him in their place. 1v1, they can't do anything against us. Yeah, using infantry would be a really bad idea. Look how badly the our allies are doing here. That'd be so bad. Oh, cool. Stretching on my line a little bit more, which is not cool, but that's okay. 1v1, I mean, it's just... It's not even any competition in any ways. You know what? Long range radio. We're going to go there, and we'll go do that. I'm trying to circle that division. Might as well. Uh, slide ch channel attack. More decryption? Yes, please. Push that way as well. You can, if you want to. Cool. Oh, they were immediately lost. Okay, good. Cool. And encirclement. They will pretty much almost immediately die. Hey, we cut off one group. Megopolis one. Please stop dying like that. Please. You have so much to live for. Still navigation, though. North Cooper taking in a raid. Great, great, great. Let's get some brigs next. Focus one on naval ships. Naval ships? Ship? Naval ship. Is that kind of an oxymoron? Kind of, maybe. A song from the front. Uh, the Brotherhood forces have fought heroically against our enemies, and one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We could play this throughout the nation to rally the nation to the cause. Uh, let's get some more political power. We already have enough war support when we are at peace anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm looking for other areas where we can make encirclements. So, you go there, 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 there. You're going to go there, there, there. And you're going to go there, there. Hopefully that'll work out. Three divisions. Can't even stand up. How much damage are we doing? 0.8. 0 0.08. No, point, not point zero 0.08, just point 0.8. Better radar, cool. Let's go up to encryption. Awesome. And we just overran the division. Great. Radio interception group. Cool, just do the next one. Doesn't really matter. And we've encircled another division. Beautiful. Just kill them off. There you go. Perfect. Just one more division, but that's okay. Go ahead and do... Pop, pop, pop. There's going to be so much more resistance to take care of. That's okay, though. Salt and sea. Uh, I think it's a little early for us to go to war with those guys. Just a little early. Hmm. Pressure than these guys like this. As long as they can hold the line, that's all I really care about for our allies. Side channel attack, very good. Let's grab some more radar because we can. Even though we should probably be improving our industry. I should probably not neglect that. Probably. Help our allies out. 
Yeah, the enemies, they don't really lose soldiers that quickly. Recon teams, cool. Overcharged ammo, we can wait on that. Let's go back here. Let's grab some more rapid prototyping, that'd be pretty good. And then grab some more construction speed, even though we don't really probably need to do that. Because it's probably pretty good on our side. Three divisions. Well, you need at least three power armor divisions to take them out. There you go. Oh boy, 80s demand territory. You know what? Hmm. How much do they demand? One, two, three, four places. You know what? We're busy right now. This I never do this. I'll let you have it. There you go. Now, we put down a lot of resistance there. We lost a few factories. Farmer secrets? So, armory secrets. We've discovered a cache. Sockpiled full of old T-45D power armor. We have found the jackpot. And we discovered a cache. Stockpiled of old T-45D power armor. We got a thousand units of, and a 200% research bonus. Nice. Oh, that is nice. That is... Hot wheels, flaming rods, and that stuff. Yes, please. We could do robotic stuff, but we're not going to right now. Resource conservation, stuff like that. Silicon Valley expedition. Second. I want to breach the armory. Let's go do recycling efforts. Ah, boss recycling efforts desk. Very cool. So basically, because they did this, look, look at that little fighter. Look at that. Oh, that's so awesome. I love that so much. Because they took this over, that in my mind that gives us justification to go kill them later, which we will. I promise you, we will because of that. So. Uh, 80s, you have made a piss poor decision. Oh my goodness. So bad. 1v1, it's not even competition. These are just 20 combo with power armor divisions, too. So, like, oh, they're dead. The enemies are dead. So nice. How much manpower do they have now? Or troll power? Oh, they're gonna. You know, they're out of manpower. Even then, you might not want to attack like a bunch of crazy people. I mean, I'll attack like a bunch of crazy people. That's okay with me. As long as we don't lose guys, but that's okay. Let's beef up the infantry a little bit more with more planes. Because they could really, really use it. There you go, because our power armor, it's, they're already looking great. Right now, we're looking pretty good. Making up. Okay, that might be a few too many dockyards. Go and go to the bottom then. Make a few more uh, of these. And these things are called arms workshops because we could probably use them, honestly. Yeah, we could probably use them. Actually, over here, Brotherhood Knights. I did say I want to try to use fire teams because I almost never use them. So I figured, you know what? Let's use them. We'll use them finally. In a campaign. I mean, I use them if we use APCs because they need them on APCs. But other than that, meh. Cool. Go and kill them off here. It's a little bit more of a struggle here. That's okay. Good. Spread out a little bit more if you have to. Post pulse code modifications. How about some uh, bricks? Bricks. Why are we researching bricks as a Western Brotherhood of Steel? But that's just me. I might question that a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Nothing can stop our power armor. Just just nothing. Uh, whatever. Miniature circuitry? Cool. Just go ahead and grab advanced circuitry. Even more research speed. You are not allowed to move. Now you're allowed to move. And now you're allowed to help kill them off. Beautiful. Cool. Another division? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just in time. Uh, once we get like another division, then I'll put them on the line. But for now, not really, because one division holding uh, holding the line is not ideal. Uh, would anyone like to move in? No. Um, have they abandoned the line? We could try a general attack. I mean, we could try just a little bit. It might go okay. It might not. I mean, oh, that is that is a lot of damage. Do you not have orders? No, you have orders. Airing cannot cover... Well, that's okay. They can't cover the army. That's okay. I'm really hoping that the power armor just goes to town against the enemies. That's the only reason why I'm doing it like this. So, it is what it is. Because the power armor is just god tier. Well, it's not god tier, but it's pretty god darn good. Especially once these enemies have, like, no extra strength. Yeah, our soldiers are getting hurt quite a bit. But they've already lost 4,000. Magapa's one has done a pretty good job. I really should reward them. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go and justify these guys again. Because we'll soon have all the troll worn under us. Probably. And I'll split the territory, territory between me and the old country, so. No real worries about that. And we'll stop attacking in a few seconds, maybe. In maybe about three... Nah, we're not going to stop attacking. The infantry can wait. Oh, defense is online. Great. 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 We got some brigs. Can we do anything else here? Mm, Vandenberg AFB. Air Force Base. That'd be good. And let's grab some paddle steamers. Good, good, good. 
forgot about the navy a little bit. There you go. Don't even want to look. Go ahead and do the best you can. Even though you probably already are. 15 battle cruisers is really nice. We've lost... If I lose like a thousand, I'll be fine with that. We're slowly just destroying these guys. Recycling efforts, great. And let's breach the armory. 140 days, that's a long time. Every scribe's dream of uncracking a gateway to a long fable technology and even the old world didn't understand. All pristine and ripe conditions day has come with a discovery of an old cache complex located right under our feet. Good, good, good. Keep busting through there, guys. Actually, just go straight for the warrant if you can, please. That'd be awesome. Warrant operative captured, huh? How did you not catch him before? He's a big guy. Well, I'd assume he's a big guy. Yeah, they stopped us. They definitely stopped us, machine assisted. Let's grab some smoochers. Come on, guys. I know these are thick dudes, but just keep smashing the heck out of them. And if we suffer 2,000 losses, so be it, whatever. Yeah, we're definitely... We've killed off 2,000 of them so far, which is good. With the power armor, that just... Hmm, it's nice. Get smashed, boys. Which, taken out of context, actually sounds not that great. Capture the Warren, great. On Kenny. Oh, they're so close to capitulating. Go, 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 go. They should be falling apart now. They should not have any more manpower or troll power. Yeah, but they do. Whatever. Eaters of mankind? I don't think so. I really don't think so. All right, so we can stop attacking now. And I'm going to tell you guys to hold, but just kind of, like, form your front lines and defend. Because we're going to use the, rest of the power armor the rest of the time to just destroy everyone here. Uh, go that way. There you go. There you go. There you go. Move, 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 move. And... Seriously, what are you doing? Why are you taking so long? Nice. Nah, we'll go back to war with them. We sh this war should have been over long ago, but whatever. Right there yet. Come on, go, go, go. There we go. Crush him. Cool. Lawrence. Welcome aboard, Lawrence. Better radar. Oh, let's grab some digital data links. That would even be nicer. They died so quickly. So nice. Get a red mound. Rapid prototyping. Don't mind if we do. And some advanced tools. Very good. Go to Kingsley. You you, you want to cut me off? Oh, the troll one's one. Okay. That's going to be a lot of territory. I was not expecting you to take this much territory. Oh, they're new Mariposa now. Oh, boy. You know what? Just go ahead. We gotta move. We gotta move, 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 move. They're gonna have more cores. Oh, God. They got all those cores back. Or all those cores. That was a bad idea. I should have killed them off sooner. But, nonetheless, in the meantime, of course, I did Rosa. We got about 3,000 more manpower. Cool. Now, they probably got a lot more manpower now because of that. Which is not good. Hmm. I might have overextended myself just a little bit. Maybe. Now they're attacking us, which is not good. <sighs> Always against the trolls. What a mess. What a mess. Good. Kill them off immediately. Because they are starting to beat up our line a little bit more and more and more, which is not ideal. Get some extraction now. Get some industrial fertilizer. That'd be good. Uh, over here, what do we do? We have an encirclement, I see. Good. Well, I'm going to reward Megapolis 1 for helping us so much here. No, I'll sell some updated equipment, probably. That'd be good. Advanced circuitry is good. Anything else? Not really. That's fine. Radar, Zax stuff. We can wait on that. Recycling's okay. We're more than fine on recycling. Get some three-dimensional printers. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing infantry armor. That is not good. Keep you right at the top. Let's make a buttload right now of military... Factories or arms workshops. Boom, right there. Boom. Boom, boom. Loads of them. Loads, loads, and loads. You know what, for now, I don't even care. Just go right there, just because we need as many divisions on the line as possible. You guys go there, there, there. Cut these guys off. These three divisions, that'll be necessary for that. Uh, battle board. We can't quite do that. Do river barges, because we can. And we're going to go ahead and throw on a few more divisions here, because we need more. Good, good, good. Yeah, we actually... Oh, they actually got up there, huh? Good for you guys. Good for you. Once we get over here, I'm going to start attacking this area, too. Good. And... Don't let them move. Do not let them move. I want to circle these four divisions. Everything else really doesn't matter too much. Just hold for now. 
Good, they died. Wait, where are you guys headed? Hmm. It might be better if I have infantry over here defending. Wait, hold on. Wait, where, where are the soldiers? Hello. Hello. Good luck, guys. This is going to be a necessary evil. I'm sorry. Defensive decisions. So oh, we're going to get paid soon. Cool. Well, there's a few divisions. This is going to be a lot costlier than I thought it was going to be, but we're being, we've been killing a lot of enemies. Holy cow. Cool. Just keep going, guys. Keep going. You're doing a great job. we got to get new Maripos out. They have 48 divisions in total. That's not bad. We've killed off quite a few. Netkin Immigration. they got 3,000 manpower. Stockpile. They have no gliders. they got some super mutant behemoths. Anti-tank. they got a good amount of stuff, actually. Huh. But it looks like we're doing an okay, a pretty okay job. Especially for the power armor. Oh my goodness. Just keep going, guys. You are... You are just... Oh my goodness. I, I love power armor. I love it too much. How's resources doing? Wow, we're doing great. No issues whatsoever. Keep going if you can. We gotta get the capital. Even 1v2, we do a great job. Just please don't get in circle because there's not enough divisions around here. Good, push them in, push them around. There we go, another division's been encircled. Good, good, good. Get a new mirror pose. You are going to kill that division off too. That's good. Okay, so we're doing actually okay. Surprisingly, we're doing okay. Oof. Actually, we're at war. Can we raise this up to 135? We probably will have to do that. Oh, their enemy enemy strength ratio 80% or more. That's, that's pretty high. I'm not going to lie, that's pretty high for strength ratio, but okay, whatever. Just throw them on. Doesn't matter where they're at. We need them right now. Uh, cool. We got new Mariposa. Which definitely helped us out. 17,000 losses. They We've literally just killed off half their army. So good. So good. I need to acquire more territory, though. This is not turning out. Muy bueno. Ah, breaching the army, though. This is muy bueno. It took the scribes weeks to crack the vault, even within or with the missile launchers. And the best demolition team or equipment in the waste, the vault was sturdy for a reason. What we uncovered in the vault. For any rookie scribe, this was almost a fever dream. Even to the most experienced scribes in the group, it was as if their eyes were playing fable tricks. As far as I could see, pristine caches of technology, bountiful secrets, and technological gizmos of the old world. The jackpot. Uh, upon reaching, we found schematics of many old world plane, old world plane designs. Jet attack, jet bombers. That's, uh, that's okay. Discovered schematics of many old world power armor designs. T45D51B power armor. That's not bad. But unfortunately, we found schematics of many old world robot designs. That's not bad. We don't have that stuff. I bought T40, T51B, huh? 51B. Oh, lone trees and white legs. No one cares. Uh, we have 45D, 51B. I mean, we can get that eventually. I'd love to get APA. Advanced power armor, but we can't. 51B. That just is not bad. That's... Wait. Advanced servos as well. It is cool. Uh, I, it's probably this one they're talking about, not this one. Which would be also very cool to get. Uh, jet attack bombers? Jet bombers? It's not worth it, I think. I mean, jet bombers, those are nice and all, but you can't attach them to your armies for some reason. We already have attack planes. So let's not do that. Ibots and Assaultrons... I mean, eyebots are cool and all, and assaultrons are cool and all, but we're not really using them, so we're going to go with power armor, because why not? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought it was. Cool. Very cool. Even better power armor, because why not? Underground hangers. Let us go ahead and do some aerial operations, because we can. Oh, good description. Very good description. Better planes. Oh, we can... Oh, God, we can get... Oops. We'll make them if we need them. Anything else here? Not really. How is the power armor up? Oh, infantry armor, I mean. Eh, could be better. You guys are looking a little weak. Go right there, 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 there. See if you can cut them off. Yeah, you go right there, 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 there if you can. Just don't get cut off, please, for the love of God. Industrial fertilizer is very nice. Electrical extraction, also very nice. Digital data links, even better. Digital decryption, even better. Lone trees play well on the anointed. It's time for a crusade, apparently. Help them out. Two more divisions gone. Advanced tools, don't mind if we do. Free war tools. You know what? It reminds me of the old days. I just thought of this, because we have 26 out of 24 here. The old days of Hoi 4, when you could just throw on uh, as many divisions, I think, as you want, and just one general. 
which made it completely useless to use other generals, but I don't remember that for some reason. I'm pretty sure that happened. I'm pretty sure you could use, uh, at just all divisions under one general, which made it so much easier to command. But then they added in division limits for generals, which people didn't like, but I got over it. You know, it is what it is. I don't really care too much. As long as I have the ability to sack our enemies or destroy our enemies, that's all I really care about. Cool. And they should capitulate fairly soon. And maybe before a third time, I'll justify on these guys. Uh, please take a little, a little bit. Oh, you know the populace against a boneyard. You know what? They'll probably just go to war them anyways. Maybe. We're going to wait. I do want to kill the 80s, though. Oh, this is nice. This is so nice. So much has been sacrificed for these god dang people. I'm still not going to give them a Goblis 1 anything. Which I know is unfair, but we'll give them people down south. Maybe take them out eventually or something. Why is this already open? Fighter, cast, cast bomber. I'm not really sure what the cast bomber is. I'm going to go with fighters because we're already using fighters and we're going to keep them. The battle must be fought in the air very much so as on the land. Specialization and fighter production will ensure our edge will be poised in the skies just as well as on land. Which would be a great thing. Capitol Hill. Hello, Capitol Hill. Where is my power armor? Three dimensional printers, even better. And we'll go ahead and grab cement and concrete because we love building things. Oh, oh, look at that. We actually sunk 10 ships. Wow. I should probably pay attention to this a little bit more. And there goes New Mariposa. This is going to be s way too much for us to help Garrison. I could liberate people, but why would we want to do that? Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that looks a lot better than what I imagined what it could be. Wow. Um, thanks for uh, taking them out, guys. In the meantime, I'm going to split you in half. We're going to do this. Do that. Come here. Miller. Hello. And I'm, oh, I... I kind of want to put you on the front line, but I kind of don't want to put you under someone else now, too. Chesterton. Or Charleston, not Chesterton. My bad. Uh, max planning. Let's go grab that. And... Max army group size plus one. Junk rounds. Tank. We, we probably have to go with tank, right? I'm pretty sure we have to do that, so let's do that one. Cool. So now we're going to have the infantry down here. They're going to be hanging out for a while. They're just going to hang out. Uh, power armor wise, though, we're gonna go down here, and now we definitely have to spend some time coring some stuff. Uh, infrastructure, sure. Magazine, naval magazine, Indian Island, cool. Helping settlements out. Power armor scavengers, because we can, we can sell some equipment probably. We gonna need a lot more infantry armor. Woof, 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 woof. You can make more factories too, in general. I think that'd be pretty good to do. And let's do one more focus before we end the episode, though. There you go. Do all that stuff. Uh, more dockyards. Ooh, river barges, paddle steamers. What do we have here? River barges? Why not? We'll make one thing of river barges. River barges, river barges, river barges. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I have no upgrades for these guys yet, so. Cool. There you go. Keep it like that for a while. That looks good. Looking really not too bad, my friends. Uh, oh, yeah. We got some of this. Another group. Cool. Good luck. Another one. Cool. Get thrown on there, and let's go ahead and fix everyone up to eradication just for a little bit, even though we don't need it for everywhere. We'll do it just for a little bit, just for a few quick seconds to lower resistance anywhere we have it as we get more manpower back. And then we're going to go ahead and switch it back to pacification, get a chunk back, quite a chunk back, which is really nice, and then continue on because we don't have a lot of resistance around here, which is good for us. That is really, really nice. And we will begin the next episode probably, most likely, going to war with. These guys down here because, well, we helped our, our guys. And let's finish this with another focus. It's weird that we did this one before this stuff up here, but whatever. Fighter efforts. Our fighters will provide the large majority of our air force. Being able to meet any enemy fighters head on and support our group, ground troops in combat will be a very good thing. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode guide. If you did enjoy this episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know. What is a good brotherhood name for an intelligence agency? And I'll see you tomorrow when we will pay back Megapolis 1 by taking out these guys down here, and probably the Shady Sands Military State. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.